Good morning. What is good, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, so we got we got a hump day, dumb day here for you guys. I think I'm going to start finding uh, stuff like this for Wednesdays. But this one uh, I kind of wanted to talk about. I do got partial of the clip to, to show you guys. So um, that will also be in the video. So you guys can hear it for yourselves. But yeah, this is, I don't know. People do dumb things uh, in life. And I think for this guy, was uh, it was pretty stupid. So the context of the video, before you guys see it for yourself, basically a woman walks into a T-Mobile store. I guess uh, she has a Samsung Galaxy Fold. Uh, I don't know which generation. Don't ask. Um, I'm going to assume the Z Fold 4. And she got a new um, Samsung uh, ga um, Galaxy smartwatch. And she just wanted to have it simply paired, hooked up to her device, um, have a separate line hooked up to it so it can function on its own, as she stated, is that, that that's all she came in for. Now, apparently, the gentleman that she is having the argument with uh he wiped her phone um and so you know the people in the store um the customers to be exact suspect that he may be drunk i personally don't know what level of stupidity requires you to come to work drunk and that would uh basically hinder your work performance and to do something stupid as this um, you'll hear a lot of what went on in that, um, in the clip, at least his excuses to things and just why they assume that he's drunk, but nonetheless, take a watch. Guys are some kind of a manager phone number for here. Uh, it would be you can, I know, but he has to have a boss. Of course I do, but, but he won't, he'll, he'll contact you and tell me what I told you. What did you tell me? I'm sorry. Besides whatever you my stuff. boss is gone. Okay, can I ask why you erased my phone? I did not lose your phone. I have no idea. What I didn't ask you to lose my phone. I asked you, why did you erase my phone? So whatever is gone is gone. I'm sorry. Okay, but why did you erase my phone? What was the reason for erasing my phone? Can I ask? I, I personally have not. I don't understand what you're saying to me. That's fine. And I don't think you understand what you're saying. No, I understand that whatever could not have been, you, you know. Uh, no, 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 don't talk to me. Whatever has been, you know, replaced to your phone. Uh, you were supposed to hook up my watch. That's what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to hook up my watch. And that's what you were in the middle of doing, hooking up my watch. And then but you I selected cannot, to restore my phone. Like, I don't understand what you're doing. Restore your watch to your phone. What are you saying? So they I'm told me to bring whatever. my watch in because I bought a new watch <clears throat> and I currently have a plan. Yep. Okay. Sure. So they told me to bring my watch in and something with the IEM number so you guys can hit connect my network, my data plan to my new device. Sure. And what did my phone have to do? You erase my phone. I did not erase your phone. You just clearly erased my phone. No, I did not erase Here, your phone. Here, do you want to see? You erased my phone. Then your phone's been erased, but right. I did not erase your phone. I'm sorry, then who just did it? The uh, gentleman that was just back there, which was you, helping me, who erased my phone? Uh, we did not erase your phone. Okay, then what did you do to my phone? I have no idea. I don't remember, but... You don't remember. What I would we, like to talk to somebody above you. What do we do to your phone? You erased my phone. Were we trying to respect? Or what were we doing? Trying to respect. What does that mean? What were we doing to your phone? You were nothing. You were supposed to be hooking up my new watch. But somehow you your phone got erased. Touch? Not somehow. You mm -hmm. selected to read erase all of it to factory reset it okay. why did you do that no looking at my you did okay ethan you want to just go in the back i have to order them yeah so as you can see from that clip <clears throat> just how weird how weird is that it was like he was all over the place with everything 
I, he was literally trying to let this lady know that he didn't uh, he didn't wipe her phone. Um, she was literally telling him like she was like, "You want to see my phone? You know, <laughs> you you know, all you were supposed to do was just pair my smartwatch to my phone <laughs> and get my my new smartwatch active on a on a watch plan on my account." And her phone ends up being wiped. Now I don't know if this lady backed up all her information or not. Regardless, because some will say, well, you know, you should be backing up your, your info before you let anyone handle your stuff. And that's true. But regardless, you know, there's a lot of steps in place that one would do in order to actually wipe a phone, right? You don't just click wipe phone and it just automatically does it. I mean, there, there's fail safes to protect you from accidentally wiping your phone, right? First of all, you got to go through the, through the settings menu to find it, right? Which normally would be in systems. Well, when you scroll in systems, you'll see the options to reset. And then when you choose reset, then you got to choose what option? Reset network, reset all settings, erase everything, you know? So you have that. Then after you choose that, then you have to literally, um, like, say yes to completely wiping the phone. So, I mean, those things just don't make sense, right? Like, you can't just claim that it was accidental or anything like that. And, you know, on, on top of all of that, um, then he's telling her, like, he doesn't remember. Like, I think that's what made people really think that, you know, he may be drunk. You know, how do you have memory loss of what you were doing if you were assisting a customer with uh, setting up their device? You know, and, and all this comes within a stint of basically... You know, T-Mobile wanting to close stores, wanting to have some sort of mobile truck that will come to your place of residence, which I think is a bad idea just because, um, you know, T-Mobile reps knowing where I live, you know, that, that could create things like stalker mode. Somebody stalking the hell out of you. So I'm not too keen on the idea of having a mobile truck that will come to you know where you are i mean yeah if you want to meet them in a public place but they're supposed to have a mobile truck that's you know supposed to go to where you are bring your you know bringing your device uh doing the uh, activation setups and all this stuff you know where when you don't have um when you don't have like a physical store to conduct business i mean having a, a mobile truck will just make mo like more bad customer service you know it's going to be more of a laxed atmosphere yeah, I didn't grab the full video clip. I mean, you can... I'll try to link it in the description for you guys if you guys want to see it on TikTok. But, you know, enough of the conversation was said there to really just kind of, like, show, like, okay, you know, like, this is a lot of stupidity. Um, of course, you know, the guy knew he messed up because when the customer was literally asking him, like, you know, who can I talk to that is above you? Um he definitely did not want to give that information and from my time of experience with customer service and dealing with businesses and stuff like that when when somebody fails to give you you know who's the next um in the chain of command that obviously would mean that um that obviously would mean that you know they knew that they did something wrong knowing that you did something wrong some people tend to panic and just not want to give that information, you know, and that's, to me, that's just, uh, yeah, very bad. <clears throat> so, I mean, I don't know the, the furthers of, um, of all of it. I don't know if that, uh, if that guy was really a store manager or was he a shift leader? I don't know, but I don't know if he's been reprimanded. I don't know if he's been, uh, suspended. I don't know if he's been termed. Um, but yeah, link of the article in the description as well as a link to the tech talk video so you guys can watch the whole thing for yourselves let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that subject oh shit i hate when people drive like all ridiculous a lot of people do that like you go in the center lane because you want to merge in into traffic because you made a turn out into the center lane then roll up about a good few feet slow down 
Instead, you drive all the way up about 50 feet to just block me from getting into the middle into the middle lane to make my turn. So, hold on, going around the block. One thing I don't like about my parking area is that when the rain comes, the parking closest to the door of the place uh, gets flooded. So, park sideways to avoid that. But anyways, thanks for checking out this quick um, car vlog. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on all subjects and everything. And I will talk to you on the next one. And as always, law. Freaking Woodstock was like moving around. See, Woodstock. Moving around. Peace.